by fans of high quality entertainment. I don't know about high quality today because in my series, Does This Album Suck? I am going to listen to The Clash. Cut the crap. <laughs> and uh, so as usual on YouTube, I can't play the album because of copyright. But I'm go going to put it on my Patreon channel for everybody to, if they want to listen to it. Uh, but hopefully y'all come back to my YouTube channel to leave a comment instead of on Patreon. Uh, yeah, so Cut the Crap won against Emerson, Lake & Palmer's Love Beach by 52%. So it was pretty close. So I think at some point I will uh, do a video for Love Beach also. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Cut the Crap. It was released in 1985, and on Rate Your Music, where fans go when they rate all of the albums that they ha have listened to, their debut album had a 3.84 out of 5, Give Em Enough Rope had a 3.55, London Calling had a 4.2, Sandinista had a 350, and Combat Rock had a 3.41. Cut the Crap had a rating of 1.68. <laughs> and I, I am just going to read one comment from there. An utterly atrocious effort that should never have been released. Even Joe, God rest his soul, admitted he'd lost the plot by this point. Musically horrible synths and glossy 80s production that waters down some badly written songs. Only This Is England is bearable. And I also, uh, the only other song, well, the only song I actually have heard is We Are The Clash. And Sparks even did a cover version of that for some Clash album or whatever. <laughs> so I have no idea. I am a big Clash fan, but I never did buy this album because Mick Jones had left and I just lost interest in them, but I loved their debut album. Give Them Enough Rope was kind of okay, but I think I appreciate it more now. London Calling, of course, was awesome, but my favorite Clash album was the three-disc Sandinista, and then Combat Rock was pretty good, although I'm not a fan of Rock the Caspa. I never have been. I find it an annoying song, but maybe I'll find something else on this album that's even more annoying. So... I'm going to play the full album nonstop. I might say something during the song, but for the most part, I don't say too much. And at the end of listening to this album, I will tell you if Cut the Crap, for me, sucks. But, you know, this is The Clash, so they have to, you know, up the Does the Suck <laughs> ranking. They have, to, they have to not suck, is what I'm trying to say. I'll, I'll listen to the music like this. There we go. And I'd love your thoughts if you have heard Cut the Crap, if you like it or not, or even love it. We start with Dictator. One, two, three. Thank you. 
I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, does the clash cut the crap suck in my opinion? The clash cut the crap sucks. feel better now. I wrote down some notes uh, while listening to the album. I want my mummy. Crap is right. And I need heroin. <laughs> uh, this doesn't take any way, this doesn't take anything away from The Clash as a band. Joe Strummer is awesome. His vocals, even on this album, he's always I always love his vocals, but it is, uh, it's actually, The Clash have, uh, it's called Sound System, all of their, their, disco, disco, I can't even speak, all of their discography remastered, a really nice box set, and Cut the Crap isn't part of it. Uh, it was pretty Pretty not good. Let me see here. The songs. Uh, yeah, the only song that what the, the one song that really was good, as people have mentioned, is This Is England. Uh, you know, there were a couple more that were kind of almost good. They're not terrible. But overall, the production, you know, I know this was the 80s, but it was just a terrible mix. Uh, synths and st that just don't belong on a Clash album, uh, for the most part. I mean, Sandinista, like I'm very open to music and Sandinista, you know, I know that there's maybe a bit too much filler in it. But overall, I just love the album. I love the different genres. And this, it's just, some of it is forced, uh, you know, the lyrics and everything. And these, like I said, they're trying to do these anthems that just don't work. Uh, if I was going to rate this, I would give it, not an A+, plus. <laughs> I would give it a C. Because, I mean, Joe Strummer's vocals. He's a great singer, just not very good songs. And, you know, some of the guitar work, if you can hear it on this, is good and catchy. And, but, you know, the drum machine and, like I said, these synths and everything, it's, yeah. And I, I came to this, you know, I'd never heard this full album. I, I was open to actually liking it. But this is one of the rare times where I say at the end of the video that this album sucks. But if you like it, that's okay. We can have different opinions. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a crap, I mean, have a great day.